Good morning. It is 6.55. Here's what's going on right now. So this weekend we're actually at a campground up in Flagstaff. So we decided to splurge a little and camp at a really nice campground. We actually came yesterday and spent all day here just chilling around the campground and it was really nice. You know, the hosts are nice. The people around here are really nice and it's quiet and it's one of the better campgrounds I've ever been to. The bathrooms are like pristine. Decided to give that a go, especially because this weekend we actually planned on doing a little bit more exploring and we wanted to make sure that if we did go exploring, we had a spot to come back to. We didn't want it to get dispersed because that could potentially be taken. We don't know if it'll be back when we get back. Okay, we'll get a campground and then that way, if we decide to run any errands or do anything or go to REI, then we could have a spot when we get back. Yesterday, we did a couple different things. We got here pretty early. It was like 10 o'clock. Got everything set up, which we have a new setup, and I'll show that once we get that set back up. We got everything set up, hung around for a little bit, and then decided we were gonna see some hikes and, and do that for a little bit. Probably hiked for a couple of hours um, and saw a couple cool different things. So the campground that we're at is um, near Sunset Crater Volcano National Monument. The hikes that we went on was just basically exploring these giant landscapes of hardened lava and seeing these giant craters and it was really really cool. And some of the interesting things is like you see a crater and it looks like a mountain but then like half or one face is like completely granuled hardened lava and so it's really interesting to see. Wore us out quite a bit because it's actually pretty warm here this weekend. It's supposed to be getting up to like upper 80s maybe and approaching a 90. Nighttime is great. It's just the, the daytime it gets really really warm. So what we're gonna do today is after we have our coffee we're going to take a drive. There is like a, a one to two hour drive stretching within the park that we're in. It looks at the Sunset Crater Volcano National Monument and then the stretch of road has vistas along it and then goes up to the Upatki, I believe that's how you pronounce it, but I'm not sure, um, that national monument as well. And that national monument has a bunch of really cool pueblos that I think will be really interesting to see. I'm really excited about that. We're gonna do that today, take that little drive and, and see some stuff. And then afterward, who knows, we might relax, um, might run an errand or two, not sure yet. The one downside about camping in a vehicle is that if we wanna go somewhere, you kinda have to take down the setup. So Justin is working on taking down that tent uh, canopy thing so that way we can drive. Um, but once we come back and get that all set up, I'll show you. Wow. I'll show you what our new setup looks like. But for now, I'm gonna have some coffee, gonna see some stuff afterward, and uh, should be fun day.
So we went around and saw a bunch of stuff and now we are back at the campsite and we're all set up for the day. We've actually been back for a while and had stuff set up but we've been just relaxing around. But wanted to show you guys basically how we have things set up. Things are a little bit different than the last time we showed you. Probably the biggest difference is that we got a new adventure vehicle. We got a Toyota 4Runner. It is a TRD off-road 4Runner and it's been really, really great so far. This is our first time actually trying out the canopy with it and the canopy actually fits a lot better on it because you don't have a door sticking out of it this time it closes all the way which is really really nice seems a lot more spacious and it actually fits up here on the tailgate a lot easier than the jeep as well so overall fantastic fit and it's been pretty nice that's honestly probably the biggest change everything else we were able to work with like our typical meshes and you know everything else the setup with everything is still basically the same as well the only thing that I noticed and this might be due to the new vehicle or just the higher temperatures not entirely sure this vehicle does a better job I feel like of insulating so it stays warmer longer inside it can be a little toasty especially when it's getting up to almost 90 throughout the day so that's the one other thing but usually by morning it's plenty cool and it feels great inside it's now 5 30 which means it's time to make some dinner so when we got here up in flag we knew that there were fire restrictions in place so we didn't really know like if we could build a fire and so we just planned on cooking with our stoves well, apparently as long as it's in a, a pit in a recreational area, you're allowed to have it. But because our food is already ready for the stove, we didn't bring anything too extravagant, but a little bit more extravagant than usual, not just the rice packets I usually bring. So yesterday we had a tomato-based pasta that was super, super good. Tonight we're gonna have rice and beans with some taco seasoning, and that should be pretty good too. So we're gonna start cooking that. Finished up dinner, now we're having some post-dinner coffee. Justin's in the hammock over there, chilling. Aside from that, not much else happening tonight. Last night, I was very successful with star pictures, so I probably won't be doing any tonight, but I might anyway, just because I like to. And I like to see the stars, there's so many out here, so it's really, really pretty. That's about it, not really doing a whole lot. Tomorrow morning, we have plans to go have breakfast at one of the places we went to before. They have like this epic V and breakfast, chorizo, burrito, whatever, but it's super, super good. So we're gonna do that. But yeah, then after that, we're gonna head home. Might show some clips of what's happening you know, in the morning and, you know, the sun coming up and all that. But aside from that, I think that's this is the last time I'm going to just be chatting with you guys. With that, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we'll see you in the next adventure.